Hello guys and welcome back to automation. In today's topic of web driver, I'm going to speak about web elements, how to find these web elements and how to perform certain actions on web elements. Okay, so what are web elements? Everything on a web page having an HTML tag is a web element. In simple words, I can say that everything on a web page button or a text box or a link anything that you can see or maybe you cannot see is a web element we can find web elements by many ways uh, we will learn up three such ways in today's session which is ID name and class so let us get started okay the first thing that you all will need to do is create an object of web element so web web element let's give it a name o b j w e you can give any name of your choice let's import the class web element okay now this object is currently empty let's give it a value and this value is given by the the method called driver dot find element inside the parentheses we have to give the word the method name by dot now as you can see here uh, selenium will give us many ways to identify web element class name css id link text name partial link text tag name and xpath so let us first see the property call name now in this name we need to give the value of the property name now we do not have this property with us right now how do we do that go back to our application username right click on this text box and click on inspect this is present by default in Chrome as you can see this text box present here okay has got the property name and the property name has got a value called email okay if I click on this button here I can see the same thing for password so password also has a property name the value of it is password confirm password also has got the same thing we'll do one thing we'll try to identify the first username by ID and not name so copy the property value come here instead of name I'll give it as ID and I'll enter the value okay so once you're done you can just take the particular object and dot send keys now send keys is a command which is used in order to type something into a text box so let me type a username let me give it mercury mercury now let's go for a second object let me go ahead and copy the same command again okay now instead of ID let us use name so it's any name let me go back to our application let me try to spy on our text box password let me copy its name property value which is sorry it's for password it's here so the name property value is password okay let me use this object now which contains our element password dot send keys let me enter in mercury again let me do the same thing all over again for the third time but for the third time I need to change the value for name has confirm password right as it is being seen here so confirm password the values have been set here after we perform all of these three actions the last step is to click on this button called submit so what are its properties let me spy on that 
okay as you can see this button has an input tag okay with a name called register so let me copy that name property value called register let me come here let me copy this line again let me change the value to register and now use the object dot you can see a click okay once we are done with all this I can just wait for a few seconds thread dot sleep so you all you all can see the process which has happened and then I will just close my browser driver dot quit okay close exception let me go ahead and run our test case okay so it opened up a browser it'll enter our username password and confirm password here it clicked on submit okay a new page is being loaded and it should quit our browser now okay so far so good okay now apart from this uh, you might have seen there is something very inconvenient here and we have to create objects all the time note that we don't need to create the objects all the time uh, we create objects only when we need to use uh, objects in a later stage since here we are not going to reuse these objects what we shall do is we will remove this line okay and right after we write by id email dot send keys mercury we can write it directly so i don't need these lines anymore so now my code looks much more cleaner okay yes so if I run this again it will perform the same task without the need of creating a web element object okay so we have learned a few things here we have learned click we have learned how to enter text into a particular text box okay and we have learned how to find elements by using id and by using name okay this is it for today um, in the next session we'll go ahead a, a bit more deep into find elements by if you have any questions regarding today's session kindly comment below thank you